So if you're watching this video I can assume that you've been out and bought an Evolution R255 SMS sliding miter saw and you want to see how to set the thing up. Now I would suggest whenever you buy one of these tools you always make sure that it's set up for accurate cutting. You need to make sure that it's cutting at 90 degrees vertically and horizontally and you need to make sure that the bevel angle when the saw's tilted over for compound cutting is set at 45 degrees as well. And if you do that then you will get accurate miters from these machines. So the first thing we'll do is check this one to see how it's set up as it's come out of the box. First of all make sure that the machine is unplugged. Do not do this with the machine plugged in. Press in this release and pull the blade guard up and then slide the square up to the blade making sure that it's pressed against the fence and it's touching the blade and make sure that it's not touching one of these carbide teeth because that will just push it out slightly. Now as you can see that is flat against the blade all the way along its length so out of the box it's set up to cut 90 degrees perfectly at the fence. If we need to make any adjustments the saw comes with its own tool which is fitted into the base there. You need that and you will also need a 10mm spanner. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that's not square now so I'll move it away from square so I can show what it looks like when it's not square and then I can show you how to correct it. I don't know how well this is going to come out but we've got a gap at this end now so the corner there is touching the blade and we've got a gap at this end. To adjust the fence we use these four slotted holes. There are two on the left hand side of the saw so if you look in you can see that it's actually a slotted hole there with a set screw and we have two on the right hand side of the saw as well. So we slacken off those set screws, slide the set square along the fence until it's touching the blade and then adjust the fence like so backwards and forwards until it's at 90 degrees. Come forward very slightly. There now that is perfect. Tighten the two end set screws just make sure that that's not moved. That's still perfect so you can make sure that all four now are tight. So that's the first adjustment made. The second check is to make sure that the blade is at 90 degrees to the table. So the set square needs to be flat on the table and it needs to be pushed against the blade. It needs to be touching the blade along the full length. Now as that has come out of the box there is a slight gap at the bottom of the blade there. It's touching at the top. It's not far off but it's not quite 90 degrees. The top of the blade needs to go to the right in order to make that square. Before we start making any adjustments on the cutting head it's a good idea to pull this sliding fence back at the top and that stops this corner here interfering with the blade. So slacken that off and then push that over until it stops. Now the adjustment for that vertical setting is just there. Basically it's just a physical stop between the set screw and this lug. Just slacken that off like so and that will allow that to adjust. Now it's very slack. Because the gap was at the bottom of the blade that means that the top of the blade wants to go that way. There we go, that's at 90 degrees. Very very simple to adjust these angles. Once you're happy with where the set screw is, tighten that nut down, keeping the set screw in position with the allen key and nip up that locking nut and that secures it. Now the last angle that we need to check is the bevel angle which should be at 45 degrees and this is when our little helix 45 degree set comes in. So we slide that along the fence up against the blade, make sure that there's no gap between the blade and the set square. Now that looks perfect. Adjusting it if you need to is exactly the same as the one that we've just done. We use this set screw. So you just set up or down to make sure that when it's tilted over it's at exactly 45 degrees. Those are the three angles that you need to check in order to make sure that this mitre saw cuts accurately and I reckon you can do it in about 10 minutes. So the very last check that we've got to do is to make sure that the laser is in line with the blade on the saw. So it says in the instruction manual to use card. Now you can actually cut a groove in a piece of wood but card's much easier. What I like to do is to stick it down onto the table, make sure it's pushed against the fence and that stops it from moving when you're working with it. Just cut a groove in the cardboard, don't go all the way through it. And there's a laser at the bottom there coming across. Now you can see that it is not in line with the saw blade. It's across to the left, it's further away from the saw mark at the bottom 
than it is at the top. So it needs two adjustments. It needs to be moved across to the right and it needs to be placed parallel to the saw line. So to make these adjustments we need a Phillips screwdriver. So if I point the camera at the laser, these two screws, that one and that one, are used for pushing the laser left or right. And then there's one on the side, just there, and if I put the screwdriver in it, you can see this one you need to adjust to make sure that the laser is parallel. I find it very difficult to get this where it wants to be, and then when you tighten the screw up, it might move, but that's not looking too bad for parallel. Now I'm going to slide it along. I've pulled off a plastic cap there, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to come off, it came off by accident when I was playing with it, but uh, with the laser much brighter now I'm finding it really difficult to line this up and basically I've lost all sense of which screw is doing which so what I'm trying to do now is just play about with it to at least try and get it something like just pulled it all out of whack that's the best that I can do I can't get it lined up so my advice would be unless you're really unhappy with the laser to leave it how it is the good thing is at this edge it's actually in line with where the edge of the saw is going to cut. So that's it, the saw set up to cut accurately now. Now changing the angles is very very simple, you know it's going to take you 10 minutes to sort the three angles out that you need to check and adjust. The laser, well that's a complete nightmare and it's taken me about 20 minutes to get it something like. I cannot physically get it to line up with the slot and parallel at the same time. Uh, it's one or the other. So my advice would be, unless you're really not happy with the laser, to leave it as it is. And I really do think that Evolution needs to look at another means of adjusting the laser because there must be an easier way of lining it up. So I hope you found that video useful and thank you for watching.